Mabu Manan Nyura, meaning good morning to all. My name is Anna Dwyer. I'm a traditional owner of Garajari country and a cultural advisor. My language is Nango Garajari. I am a researcher working for the Nolungu Research Institute at the University of Notre Dame in Brome. My background is a linguist and also as a Garajari interpreter. I come from Bijaranga community in Western Australia. Bijaranga is located 190, sorry, 180 k's, 180 k's south of Brome. I come from saltwater country and desert country. Today, I'm going to talk about the Anthropocene and its impact on climate change in Garajari country. In particular, I'm going to talk about the Garajari climate change project that I did. Who was involved in the Garajari climate, climate change project? In the beginning, the Garajari Traditional Land Association, KTLA, created partnership with the Australian Institute of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Studies, IATSIS, the University of Melbourne, and the Nulunga Research Institute located at the Broome campus of the of University of Notre Dame, Broome, Australia. The project was funded by the National Climate Change Adaptation Research Facility and the Commonwealth Department of Climate Change and Energy Efficiency. Who, who were the researchers? The researchers involved in this project were Lisa Stralin, Claire Stacy, Tran Tran, Jessica Weir from IATSIS, Sonia Lennon from the University of Melbourne, and myself. So then the aims of the project. IATSIS was interested in looking at how, how the KTLA was set up to be able to deal with climate change governance. Melbourne University was more interested in learning about the climate change on country and also to understand how people were going to adapt to climate change. They wanted to find out more about what climate change were occurring on country and what plans the community could put in place to respond to any changes. Engaging with traditional owners. Um, a workshop was held on 14th August 2012, and this was organized by the um, Garajari Traditional Land Association with the research partners. And this workshop was held in Bijaranga Aboriginal community to introduce the project and ask people what impacts they may have seen on the country due to climate change and to talk about how they might adapt to climate change especially on Garajari country. There were many questions um, asked by the researchers. IATSIS were interested in governance and decision making. They asked the people who make decisions responding to climate change and what role that KTLA should be playing in regional planning. The University of Melbourne was interested in strategies for adapting to climate change. They asked Garajari traditional owners how they feel about climate change and to identify the risks for Garajari country and Garajari people when managing climate change on their country. What climate change means to Garajari people? Um, they, see the, they see the country is changing. The water holes are drying up. Animals are harder to find. Sea level is rising. More fires on country and it's hotter than usual. We're also seeing people catching salmon at the wrong time. Usually, salmon is running, run, running cold time, which we call bargana, and now it's running in hot time, ralburu. In our culture, these are two types of seasons. Garajari people see climate change as like a new disease, and the country needs healing. It doesn't need a Band-Aid, proper modern magic, now rather than waiting till it gets worse risk and impacts. Garajari people worry about the impact of underground water flows because it connects people with their creation stories. They are frightened that their water is drying up and this will cause the Garajari people's dream time story to disappear. They are frightened for the future. If this water disappears, it would present a challenge for Garajari people because water is our life. Garajari people adapting. The Garajari people need to know how to re reduce the impact of climate change. For example, 
using solar, solar energy for future housing to reduce carbon, teaching kids about what is happening on their country so they can take responsibility when it's their time to care for country, writing information about climate change in language and plain English so people can understand what is happening, working closely with the Garajari Rangers to manage and monitor country. Garajari Rangers are indigenous Kimberley Rangers. They're not park rangers, they're actually managers of country and they look after country. People were also thinking about adaptation to reduce the impact of climate change. For example, building a cyclone shelter to cope with increasing numbers of cyclone. How does this research benefit the KTLA? It will help us to identify what assistance the KTLA needs to be able to take a leadership role in climate change, adaptation, including necessary resources, opportunities, and looking at the best way available to involve the KTLA. And it will identify what traditional owners want now and what they want to see in the future for Garajari country. This is a photo of um, my cousin, Jessica Bangu. She's one of uh, um, women, she's one of the women rangers, and this is a um, camping trip that we took into, um, um, in Fraser Downs near Bijaranga in 2013, a place called Kukpa. Um, and the trip was, um, um, it was an educational trip for these children. Um, Jessica is talking to the kids on one about caring for country trips to educate them about country, teach them about language, and tell them what is right. They have to learn to keep it clean. If they see something that is wrong on country, they need to tell someone, like an elder in their community. Further research, digging deeper. You can't just spend a little time, a little bit of time in the community. People might listen, but feel you need to give them time to consult with other community members before responding, so as not to break protocols or speak on issues that they might need other people's permission to discuss. The importance of taking time is making sure that people understand what you're talking about and to get them used to how climate change affects their lives. This, um, I always laugh at this photo. Um, I, work, um, I worked at Bijaranga community and I stayed um, in a community where my family lives called Midjal Midjal Maya for six weeks and um, I interviewed eight people. Why did this research take a long time? At first, because at the time I completed interviews, it was also story time and story time means like funerals and, and a death of a family. So I had to stay longer in the community and wait for people to be interviewed. Um, we, and sometimes, you know, we have ceremony times happening. You know, we're going to be there at the right time, and obviously, I've been there at the wrong time. That's why it took longer. Um, anyways, this is one in a, in a photo that is an example that I had to wait for people for me to interview someone because they was in the middle of having their morning tea. Now, this morning tea is a photo of two bullock heads roasted just came out from the camp oven. And if you can take notice, there's a cake on the side, so you have an option whether it's bullock head for morning tea or a piece of cake with your cup of tea. <laughs> this is a photo of a beautiful um, um, cook park um, in, in Bijaranga, and um, it's a beautiful sunset, and that tells me there's no pollution there, so it's beautiful. Um, people are identifying the following key issues. They talked about heritage, so they can monitor and protect burial grounds on sea level rising. Another, another place that we have to protect is called Larajaru. The need, we need to um, look after this place because it's very important to us, because um, it, um, it has um, human remains that we have to relocate to higher grounds and to protect it from sea ri rising levels. Um, we also um, have to, we talked about monitoring protect gillers, springs, and water holes surrounding Garajari country, monitor our salt water mixing with fresh water, agriculture irrigation and rainfalls, 
monitor plants and animals, even have a water planning, drinking and talking about drinking water supplies. Um, community development, we talked about plan location and management of rubbish dumps, um, type and uh, the type of housing and amount of housing, plan for our stage, our, outstation development and sustainability, develop communication and education for the community about climate change, improve disaster recovery, including how long it takes the community to recover from a disaster such as a cyclone, understand and support the roles of families, develop or adapt cultural programs for strength in the face of these changes, more trips on country to educate young people about country, the importance of country and how to care for country. Further analysis, with the assistant of Gillian Kennedy, um, who is a researcher and a lecturer for Nolungu Research Institute, we both did the um, data together and transcribed and um, common themes were identified. Important parts of the trans, oh sorry, am I, have I got it all wrong? <laughs> I was looking at the end. Yeah. Um, um, we're compared to look for, so, uh, we looked at some similarities between the people, what they said, so we can make the meaning of what people want in this research project. This is a diagram to show that we discussed the different weather patterns changing on country in Bidjeranga. We talked about um, native animals getting harder to find, such as kangaroos and turkeys, um, and um, I was catching salmon in the wrong season. We talked about um, fire on country, high sea levels on country, the need for better housing and infrastructure, lack of education around climate change. Because of these impacts, it is important to have good cultural governance so we can identify the priorities for climate change research on our country and on our terms and make plans to adapt using the way we know how. Good governance and cultural um, includes knowledge, beliefs, ideas, meanings, values, laws, and rules. And most of all, looking towards working together as one for the future of our children. Key point, the Anthropocene is the word is so long that I have to try and remember. <laughs> the Anthropocene is a new era where the impact of human beings around the globe is vast, that is literally affects things globally. This means that even though Garajari people don't impact on the world as much as millions of other people, the impact of those millions of other people is affecting Garajari country through the effect of these things such as climate change. These are my people. They are Garajari traditional owners of their country. And they are also teachers, researchers, workers, rangers, language speakers, cultural advisors and directors and mostly elders of our community. I hope this has given you some idea of what has ha been happening on our country because of climate change. Thank you for listening. Thank you.